Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, you guys have probably heard of the title of it, but today I am going to be showing you guys how to create Tumblr inspired iPhone cases. I got the idea to record this video because the other day I was shopping on Caseify and noticed that they were selling this case on their website. Then I started noticing how these are totally similar to images that I saw on Pinterest. I'm gonna show them right here and right here and that you could absolutely create these cases at home for almost free. So if you guys wanna see how I created my own Tumblr inspired iPhone case, stay tuned. And if you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below because chances are if you like this video you're gonna like my other ones too so without further ado let's get into it okay guys so the first thing that I recommend to start the tumblr inspired iPhone case is getting a clear case for your iPhone I just got this clear case from Apple when I first bought my phone and the whole point of having a clear case is so that you could see the images that you put behind it if you have an opaque case you're not gonna be able to see any of the images that you put behind it so make sure that you get a clear iPhone case so the next step in creating your own tumblr inspired iPhone case is going on to Pinterest make sure you are totally in love with the images because you're gonna be seeing them every single day on the back of your iPhone because you're probably gonna be using your phone every single day I made sure that I would absolutely love these images and wanted to see them all the time after you find your 16 maybe 15 images make sure you save them on Pinterest because you don't want to lose them because Pinterest reloads every so often then transfer your images onto either a google doc or a microsoft word document and then minimize the sizes of each of the photos make sure you minimize them because if you don't they're probably not going to fit on the back of your iphone and it's not going to look the way that you want it to i ended up choosing about 15 maybe 16 images for my iphone if you guys want to see the exact ones i used and maybe use the same ones make sure to click the link in my bio because i made sure that you guys could totally find the ones that i used in case you want to draw either inspiration or use the same exact ones. I recommend getting two pairs of scissors, one of them being like these ginormous <laughs> pairs of scissors, and then these very, very miniature scissors that I actually use for my eyebrows. So I recommend using the big ones because you might wanna just hurry it up and cut like the major shape of the image, but then these little ones are for more of the details so you can cut around the words or anything that you really want in more detail on your iPhone. So that's why I'm gonna be using these. And then all you have to do is cut your photos. So I'm gonna start cutting them right now and just show you guys like a sped up version of it so you're not just sitting here watching me cut images like all day long. Okay guys, so I just finished cutting out all of the little pieces that I am gonna put on my iPhone and now I am going to start sticking them behind my case. What I'm gonna use to stick the little pieces onto the back of my iPhone is double-sided scotch tape. I recommend using this so that you can't have the tape on like the front of the image to stick to the case, but you can put them on the back and like you won't see it on the iPhone. So it's a little bit more cleaner and not as difficult to use. Okay guys, so I just finished decorating my iPhone case to become a little bit more Tumblr and I am so happy with the way it came out. It is so cute, so Tumblr, trendy, aesthetic, Pinteresty, and I really hope you guys liked it and I really hope that you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I love you guys all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.